And happy Sunday morning to you, to the New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. We welcome you to the church you can call home. A church in life is worth the drive. Amen. But we preach the word of God. Amen. So praise God. We honor God. We love family. We serve one another. And we pursue excellence. So welcome all of you that are joining us. Amen. Are you ready to receive? Allow yourselves to be blessed. Allow yourselves to be encouraged. Allow yourselves to be changed. But don't leave the same that you came. Amen. You want to leave a new person. You know, every time you have an encounter with him, you should leave different. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't leave the same. Every time we have an encounter with him, something in us grew. There's growing, there's maturity happening all the time. And every time we spend time with him, we change. Yes. Amen. And that should happen every time. Just like when you read a book, you don't stay on the same page all the time. If you want to read the book, you got to read the book. You got to turn the page and you got to turn the chapters. Until yes. you get to the end of it. Amen. Well, he didn't come back yet. Mm -hmm. So we're still having. He says every day. I bless you with the day. He says rejoice and be glad in it. And we need to do that. When we spend time with him. We should never leave the same. Amen. We should leave change. Yes. He has no change. He's not changing. We need to change. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Allow yourself to be encouraged. To be changed. And to be change. Amen. Uh, if you haven't visited our website, we encourage you to do so. It's on the screen. We're on the website. We're on Facebook. And we encourage you to be there. Also, we have a scriptural break each and every day on there for you. And I've had so many people just say, yeah, praise God. I'm so glad you have a scripture before me. I read it every day. I said, well, praise God. Amen. Give him all the praise. It's not about me. Go to uh, the next one. And this is Grab your Bibles, grab your swords, yeah. amen. If you don't have one, get one. Um, as we mature and grow in Him, we're talking about that. <laughs> we need the Word. Yes. <laughs> we need the Word on a daily amen. basis, amen. So, say it like you mean it, church. This yes. is my Bible. This is my Bible. I have what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking to God. I'll be talking to God. I'll be talking to God. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. I want to change, and I don't want to be the same because I'm growing from glory to glory. Amen. Yes. Once again, the church alive is worth the drive. Yes. Did, you, did you get your little handout? Yes. Let me see your little handout. I don't know. How come yours is nice and pretty and mine isn't? How come mine is just plain? Because that's what the one you took. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Word for you, church. It says, do not face each day and don't face the world or the enemy until you have faced your God in prayer. Amen. Amen. That's good. Um, I, you know, we've been talking about giants. Well, there's giants waiting for you out there. Mm -hmm. We're still continuing with, with, uh, with, with our love and serve message. And there's giants waiting for you, but are you going to meet with him, spend time with him, and build yourself up so when you go out there, those giants are no match for you. That's right. They're no match for your God, amen? <laughs> there's no problem bigger than your God. Don't let their problems talk to you. You talk to them and let them know how big your God is, amen? So praise God. Do not face each day or your enemy until you have faced God. Amen. Spend time with Him. Amen. That's how we grow. Spending time with Him. Hallelujah. God is good. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> so we're going to continue Amen. with love and serve Him with passion. This is part three. Uh, I didn't say to love and serve Him if you feel like it today mm. or if you feel like it tomorrow oh, boy. <laughs> or whatever. It says Love and serve Him with passion. Mm -hmm. Always go back to our greatest example, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. He came and He left His royalties. He left heaven to come and be born. And He knew He was going to be sacrificed. But it's still, He loved to serve. And He served His Father. Amen. And that's what we need to do on a daily basis. Amen. Is serve, love and serve Him with passion. Mm -hmm. Just like when the cowboys come on that you want to... <laughs> Watch them with passion and get excited and say, uh, come on, you know. 
Well, whatever you do, do it on the hymn. And we have some choice uh, Texas that, we, that we've been uh, using. If you have not read, read uh, wrote them down, please write them down, okay? Because you can go back and review yeah. these, okay? And we're just going to yeah. go through our text scriptures real quick. And this is one of them. Matthew 20, 28 says, This is, For even the Son of Man came here not to be served, but to serve others, and to give his life as a ransom for many. many. Our greatest example. You want a role model? Here's our greatest example right yes. here. Jesus Amen. Christ. Next one. Mm. <clears throat> Colossians 3, 23-24. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men, mm -hmm. knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance. Amen. For ye serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And we talked about this. Whatever you do, do it unto Him. Prepare mm -hmm. yourself when you come before Him. Lord, it's going to be tough out there, but I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm going to do it unto you, Father. Yes. So when people <laughs> pass you and you see people, you see all this road rage in oh, this Lord. busy city of Martha. <laughs> 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 and they wave at you <laughs> or they say things and do things that are not pleasing to you and you do nice things and they are not nice to you mm. you've already said a list you've already said a list because you do it unto him Amen. Amen. Um, I'm getting way ahead of myself but people don't care what you know until they see that you care That's right. Amen. You have the love, mm -hmm. the compassion of Christ in you. Amen. And it's got to come out of you. Amen. So we talked about this as well. You put your Jesus love and compassion glasses on. Mm -hmm. So when you see people, you don't say, mm. you see the fault. Mm -hmm. And you don't see the Christ. Mm -hmm. The same Jesus that died for you, died for them. Yes. Amen. Maybe they haven't received yet, but there's hope for them. And you are that hope. You are that light. You are the messenger, the ambassador, the mouthpiece for Jesus on this world. Amen. That you're going to come to them and Jesus says, talk to them. Yeah. Let them know I love them. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. <laughs> you're the one. Yeah. <laughs> come on now. Praise Woo. God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Next, we're going through some, some of our text scriptures. God is not unjust that he would uh, forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. Amen. Matthew, um, excuse me, Hebrews 16. Yes. He's not forgetting. Yeah. He That's knows right. if you're doing it unto him, yeah. you're going to do it for them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. So we're not picking and choosing uh, what people we want to serve. Be a servant of all. Amen. Um, so, how, hallelujah, praise Amen. God. Woo. <laughs> ah, praise God. You know, when Jesus died, uh, when they crucified him, he told the Father before he left and gave up, gave himself to the, back to the Father. He says, Father, forgive him. Forgive him. Don't hold this against him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need, we need to do, we need to learn from this. Go to the next. First Timothy 6.12 says what? Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. Amen. Fight the good fight of fight faith. faith. As servants of God, we're going to fight the good fight of faith mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. Yes. This is what he wants us to do. Fight the good fight of faith. What kind of fight are you fighting? I'm fighting the good fight of faith. Mm. Keep your faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Don't shut me down. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching good now. <laughs> God has called his church to fight the good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next one. The Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee a ruler over many things. Enter Thou into the joy of the Lord. Matthew 25, 23. Yeah. Thou good and faithful servant. Mm. And it's awesome. I want to hear this when I go and stand before the Father. Welcome home, good and faithful servant. Mm -hmm. Check it out next slide. Uh, you're probably seeing this on Facebook. 
Hmm. Well done, my good and faithful pastor. No, it's got an X. Bishop, evangelist, apostle, preacher, missionary, teacher, singer, worship leader, whatever you call yourself. No. It says, well done, good and faithful servant. servant. Yes. Are you serving? If you're not, Jesus is our greatest example. Mm -hmm. Serve his people. Amen. Amen. We need to serve his people. Mm -hmm. Well done, good and faithful servant. He came to serve, not to yeah. be served. And we can learn from this. All these other little titles here, you know. Hmm. Servant. Be a servant of all. Mm -hmm. If you want to be great in God's kingdom, yeah. learn to be a servant, servant of, all. of all. It's just basic, but still be a servant of all. Yeah. We can't pick and choose. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for all. The world meaning all people, not just some people, mm -hmm. <laughs> all people. But if you want to be great in his kingdom, learn to be a servant of all. Ooh, hallelujah, I'm already preach myself happy. <laughs> Go to the next. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he yeah. is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Hebrews eleven six. Without faith it is impossible to please God. So let your faith flow. Yes. Let your faith flow. Amen. And you know, you notice all these scriptures are talking about he is a reward of those who diligently seek him. Mm. Are you going and serving him? Are you loving him? Are you, are you, are you loving him and serving him with passion? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, listen to this. The enemy's on the attack. The enemy says, wait a minute, I need to stop this. Mm. <laughs> he goes as a roaring lion seeking to be made of our. Mm. No. So, on a daily basis, as you prepare yourself to go out, mm -hmm. you got to be careful of the things you say. Mm. Because if you're not speaking faith words, faith-filled words, you're speaking negative. And if you're speaking negative, the enemy's listening. Mm -hmm. And he's hearing you. So we're opening the door for the enemy to come in. Yeah. All of a sudden, we let, let our guard down. Mm. we got to be careful not to be hung by the tongue. Mm. Because the Bible says there's life and death. Yes. In the words we say. Words are carriers. They're either carrying life or they're carrying death. Mm -hmm. And you're letting them out. You're releasing them and you're planting them. You know, when you plant seed, when you see a seed, <laughs> if you're going to plant an orange seed, you don't see an orange tree. And you don't see all the fruit that orange tree is going to produce. Mm -hmm. But God does. And when he planted in you, he saw the greatness in you. You don't see the greatness. And I'm getting way ahead of myself because I was going to talk about this with David. Because Jesse, the family, and the world saw David only as a little shepherd boy. But God sent the prophet and says, go to Jesse's house. Because the next king of Israel is coming from Jesse's house. Hmm. And he told, the prophet asked, uh, told uh, Jesse, do you have some sons? Oh yeah, he's got a whole mess of them. <laughs> he's got a whole bunch of them. But Jesse brought out the nice ones. The ones he's qualified to be good. Yeah. <laughs> and they just come before the prophet. Mm -hmm. And the prophet checks with God. And the God says, no. See, the world does this. They try to qualify you to match mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. to serve them, mm -hmm. be please them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and no, no, no. And then he finally says, do you have another one? <laughs> mm -hmm. The king is coming from this household. Do you have another son? He says, oh yeah, but he's only a shepherd boy. He's taking care of the sheep. <laughs> the world says, you're just so and so. Mm -hmm. But God knows you by name. Yes. God knows the gifts and the plans that he's put in you. Mm -hmm. He's qualified you already. He's approved of you already. Mm -hmm. But they're trying to put you in. 
And he says, oh yeah, well he's just a little shepherd boy. He's, must, he's taking care of our, our you know, family sheep or whatever. Mm -hmm. He says, bring him. Mm -hmm. So he goes and gets him. And he comes. God says, that's him. Mm -hmm. That's what the prophet says. It's, that's him. He's going to be next to Israel. See, you're special. God chose you. So you got to see yourself that way. You got to see yes. yourself the way He made you yes. and called you and gifted you. So when the world tries to put you down and says, "Well, you're just a whatever," no, I'm called of God. I'm special to Him. Yes. And see yourself that way. So when people try to put you down and hold you down, uh, -uh. no, don't allow that to happen because I know who's I am. Mm -hmm. When He went before the Goliath. He knew who was backing him. Mm -hmm. When you go before the world, the worldly giants <laughs> know who's backing you. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's already been there. <laughs> it's a done deal. I ain't backing down. <laughs> Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Amen. <laughs> so, the enemy comes to his mission to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Right. And so he don't care who he uses. If he ain't being used for God, look out, you know, because... You could be available to be used by the enemy. Mm -hmm. I say, oh no, I'm just, mm -hmm. I, I'm just neutral. I don't move. I don't do anything. <laughs> yes, you are. No. <laughs> you're being no. used. You don't know, but you're being used. <laughs> Give him no place. No. No place. That's right. And <clears throat> stop listening to his lies. Yeah. Because he says things. Remember the battlefield of mind? He puts thoughts there. Mm -hmm. And he puts negative thoughts about you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Or he will have people say negative things about you. Mm -hmm. Don't receive those things. Don't receive lies. If you know what the Word of God says, then don't receive what the enemy has to say. That's right. Either himself or through some people. That's right. Oh, yeah. Through this world. Mm -hmm. Remember that. You are somebody. Yeah. Don't receive those things. Now this is what we have to do. Mm. <clears throat> when you know who you are and you got the word in you, the word is the truth that's going to set you free. Yes. Then now when we start using our God-given authority. Mm -hmm. He's giving you authority. You're allowing this defeated foe, this defeated enemy to defeat us. Mm -hmm. Okay? You can be a Christian, but don't allow yourself to be a defeated Christian. Yeah. Start using the word of God. Yes. Amen. Know who you are. And the word of God is for me. And you know what? When you get yourself filled with the word, all the fear is going to come out. Mm -hmm. And the faith is going to rise up. And when you get filled with the word, the word is going to come out. Oh, I could never do that. You know, I'm not called to preach. <laughs> the Bible says you're a minister of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. The word is going to come out. But you got to get it in. We have our part to do. He's done his part. We need to do our part. Yeah. We got to get the word in. We got to fellowship with him. Spend time with him and get the word in. So when you get filled with the word, when you get full of something, it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. He says, out of your know, own being shall flow rivers of living water. That's right. Amen. It's going to come out. Oh, wow, I can't believe I said that. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. It was in there. You just got to release it. Mm -hmm. Amen. No when to release it. When he says, I want you to say that, it's in there. Let it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but <clears throat> the devil says, put the devil on the run for a change. I want you to go all the way to the last last line. Mm -hmm. James 4, 7. As a matter of fact, you find it on your Bible there. We're going to read James 4, 7 and 8. James, mm -hmm. James, James. New Testament. Mm -hmm. Way back. Back, 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 back. Here we go. This is for seven. But we're going to read seven and eight. Amen. But it says what? Submit, therefore, to God. Resist the devil. And what? He will flee, he will flee from you. Mm -hmm. Well, if you submitted yourself to God, mm -hmm. now you got to do something else. Mm. Resist the yes. devil. And he will flee he from will you. Flee. Go to the next slide. There we go. Two steps to victory. <laughs> One, fight the good fight of faith, finish the race, and keep the faith. Mm. Second Timothy 4 7. Mm. So let's read it. 4 7 and 8. Submit yourself, therefore, 
to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Now it says, draw nigh to God, and he will draw away from you. No. Huh? Oh, I'm reading the wrong thing. What? <laughs> it says, draw nigh to God, and he will do what? Draw nigh, draw to, nigh you. to you. Yeah. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and uh -huh. purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Mm -hmm. He don't want us to be double-minded. We mm -hmm. renew our minds to the word of God. Amen. Amen. But he says, if you draw close to God, he's going to draw close to you. Guess what happens if you draw close to the world? Mm. <laughs> it's going to draw close to you. And if you're not renewing your mind, you're just going to fall back to the things you were doing. But you want to draw nigh to him, and he'll draw nigh to you. We're, we can call it relationship. Let's have a relationship. Mm -hmm. Let's have a relationship time where we come to him, and he's there with us. He, he's already there. He's just waiting for us to come to him. Yeah. He says, he's knocking, but nobody's answering. Mm -hmm. I was there, but you didn't show up. Mm -hmm. Every time. Wow. Remember the footprints on the sand? Yeah. Where were you when I needed you? <laughs> he says, it was me carrying you. Mm -hmm. We're always, where, where are you? Mm -hmm. He's there. He says, he what? He never leaves you nor forsakes you. He's always there yes, for us. Always. Amen. We're the ones that uh, take, uh, take a break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, that is relationship. Amen. So we got to put the devil on the run and start listening to him and start letting him know you're a defeated foe. Mm -hmm. I'm not listening to you anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not listening to your lies anymore. That's right. So take a hike. Amen. Submit yourself to God and he's got to go. Mm -hmm. Amen. So now he's got to go bother Patricia over here. No. <laughs> he's going to hell. Okay, <laughs> No. <laughs> Start every day. Listen to this. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Faith ready. Faith ready. Start every day. Battle ready. I'm oh, ready yeah. for battle. You want some battle? Yes. Let's get it on. <laughs> We're gonna fight. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Remember we fight the good fight of faith. Yes. And start every day mobile ready. Ready on call. You know, when I was military. We was on call. They can call you anytime. So we're ready. Mm -hmm. Stay ready. Stay prepared. Yeah. Don't wait. Well, you know, <clears throat> whenever they call me, I'll just start studying. Mm -hmm. I'll start reviewing. No, stay ready. Be ready. Because he's going to call you anytime. Yes. You don't know when. But when it happens, he says, he, he goes around and seeks who is ready for him. Yeah. Who Amen. Goodbye. Yes. Mm -hmm. So be ready. Stay ready. Amen. Ready to love, ready to serve, ready to fight the good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. Says, stir up and step out in faith daily. Mm -hmm. Stir up, stir up. Stir yourself up. You don't wait for somebody to stir you up. Stir yourself up. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's okay. Remember the pep rallies, man. <laughs> we, may be, we may be zero or ten, but over here. After the pep rally, we may to beat somebody, you know. <laughs> but we're going to stir ourselves up in him and his word, you know, and say, hey, Where's Goliath? I'm looking for him. <laughs> Where are you, Goliath? I'm ready for you. Bring it on. Oh, <laughs> Look out. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Thank you. No matter. Some of these are already read, but I'll read them to you anyway. Peter stepped down. Yes. Peter saw Jesus walking, and he says, That's the master. I, I, Jesus said, I'm going to come over there where you're at. He says, come. That's all he said. There was no long word. He just says, come. Mm -hmm. There was enough faith. There was enough everything right there for him to come. He stepped out of his boat. He started walking. Yeah. Then he, he realized, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. He talked himself out of it. Mm -hmm. He started sinking. But you notice the rest of the disciples, none of them says, I want to come too. <laughs> <laughs> they were thinking, you crazy? <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes your friends... Mm -hmm. See, you're serving this Jesus too many times, you know, it's time to take a break. <laughs> time to take yeah. a break. You know, uh, oh, don't be so serious, you know, take a break mm -hmm. once in a while. Uh, I don't think oh, so. Boy. Well, Peter says, he stepped out, it's time for us to uh -huh. step out. You know, everybody's stepping out of their closet, but Christians, <laughs> he said, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Mm -hmm. It's time for us to step out and say, hey, I'm a Christian, I'm a child of God. Y'all mm -hmm. know when they need yes. prayer, they'll come looking for you. Oh, yeah. 
And listen to this. I'm going to break somebody's bowl here. Mm. How many times did Peter deny Jesus? Mm. Three times he denied Jesus. Three times. Parker's over here going like this. <laughs> 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 he denied Jesus three times. Uh -huh. How many times have you heard, if you've sinned against God, he's done with you? Mm -hmm. He can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't do anything for him. Mm -hmm. Some people said this. Some people believe this. Some people have never done anything else for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because somebody told him, yeah. once you've sinned, that's yeah. it. You, you've messed up. Yeah. You're done. You, won't, you don't want to do anything with you. Mm. Well, that can bust your bubble right there because yes. Peter denied him three times. And you know the third time when the cock crowed? Mm. Jesus looked this way. Mm. And Peter was looking Jesus' way. And their eyes met. Mm. And Jesus, Peter knew. Mm -hmm. But still, Jesus wasn't finished with him because... Jesus, I mean, Peter went out and preached an anointed message. Mm -hmm. And thousands came into the mm -hmm. kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Jesus was, God was not finished with him yet. That's right. Mm -hmm. He was not finished with him yet. And listen, if he called you and equipped you and put you on a mission, why is he going to put you by the wayside and say, oh, I made a mess. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. He says his gifts. And his cause are irrevocable. That's right. He don't take them back. Whatever he's put on you, whatever he's gifted you yes. with, he's not taking back. Mm -mm. If you choose not to use them, that's your problem. Yeah. One day you'll have to answer to him and say why you didn't use the gifts and the things I gave you. Mm -hmm. So it's not his problem. That's we right. need to know these things so that we can press on. Yeah. And people don't try to talk us out of these things and say, well, he's not going to use you anymore because you sin against him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't met a perfect Christian yet. Mm -hmm. I haven't met a perfect person yet. Mm -hmm. And if you go and read your Bible, none of the people he used in the Bible were perfect. That's right. But he used them. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is make yourself available and say, Lord, I'm here to serve you. Mm -hmm. I want to serve you. I'm making myself available. Mm -hmm. Receive him as your Lord and Savior. Yes. And just make yourself available to be used of him. Yes. And when you do this, 2 Corinthians says that the old is out, the new is in. Mm -hmm. So you had a spiritual birth. Mm -hmm. So you're born again inside. And people still trying to judge you from the outside. Mm -hmm. Jesus sees you from the inside out. Yes. It says you're a new person. Mm -hmm. You know those things that people are holding against you? I already forgot. I already forgave you and forgot about it. Mm -hmm. People are still holding it against you. Mm -hmm. Just know who you are so that you can yes. press on and say, I'm going to fulfill what God called me to do. Mm -hmm. I can do all oh, things through Christ who strengthens me. That's right. Yes. You got to remember who you are in Christ now. Mm -hmm. I can do all things through Him. Mm -hmm. The world says you can't, but God says you can. Yes. You know, the impossible things become I am. Possible. Mm -hmm. Those things are, I am possible to do those things. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Praise, Praise God. God. Let me see what I wrote here. So, say, so, say, sin, and God stopped using you. This is a great example that proves him wrong. Peter denied Jesus three times, and Jesus used him mightily. Everyone used him mightily. Every, everyone. Everyone used in the Bible sin. They weren't perfect. God used them. Faithfully. God used them. All you need to do is be committed and be available. Be an available believer. Amen. Me and you, that goes for, for, for both of us. Amen. And I already talked to you about David. David went from shepherd boy to king of Israel. See, you can never be this. You can never go up and grow up to be this. Yes, you can. Because God says so. Mm -hmm. When you see yourself the way God sees you, yes. you can be all things. You can do all things through him. Amen? <laughs> so he went and said, him being a shepherd, all they going to talk about. <laughs> Probably went to Jesse's house and said, hey, you now you're, you, you're, you're, you're king. See? <laughs> The greatness, the prophet saw the greatness and God saw the greatness of David. But the world didn't. And as I told you a few minutes ago, 
When you hold a seed, whatever seed that happens to be, you don't see the plant, you don't see the flower, and you don't see the beautiful things in there. You don't see the child, but God does. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is plant it, and it'll grow. Water it, it'll grow. We need to do the same thing. We need to plant those things, and we need to water it with the Word of God. Amen? Yeah. And then it'll grow up and bear fruit. Mm -hmm. Amen? Just like he says. Yeah. God sees the greatness in you. Yes. Do, <clears throat> do you see the greatness in you? Mm -hmm. You gotta see yourself that way. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's great. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> Loving, passionate people are consumed with fulfilling what God has called them to do. When you're in love with your God, you're gonna be wanting to fulfill what He's called yes. you to do. Hallelujah. And as a body of Christ, we're called to do things. Mm -hmm. So I am going to be passionate about fulfilling what God has called me to do. Passion is a motivating force that causes us to see those things come to pass. Mm -hmm. Passion empowers us to overcome the fears, doubts, and discouragements because these things are going to come against you. Mm -hmm. And the world, the enemy, is going to see to it that they come. Mm -hmm. sure. You just got to know that greater is he that is in you. Mm -hmm. And your God is bigger than any problems the enemy or the world can bring against you. Passion keeps them moving forward in spite of how many times they've experienced setbacks. Oh, you know what? That happened to me and I'm still stuck 20 years back. Mm. It's time to move on. Mm -hmm. You know, God didn't say yeah. for you to stay. He says, move on, press on. Yes. <laughs> Passion yeah. picked them up no matter how many times they've been knocked down. So you've been knocked down so many times. So what? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That was uh, Edison. It says, you failed this many times. No, he said, I didn't fail that many times before you invented the light. He says, I found out this thousands of times that it wouldn't work that way. Yeah. <laughs> but he never saw himself a failure uh -huh. until you put yourself mm -hmm. a failure. Mm -hmm. You make yourself a failure. He said, yeah. no, I just know it didn't work this many times. Yes. But I know it will until mm -hmm. it happened. Well, see yourself that way. Thank God he stayed with it. He, he, mm. Jesus or God, he, they, he never mm -hmm. meant for you to be a loser. He meant you to be a winner yes. and a champion. Amen. Yes. The Praise reason God. many people never see their dream or their vision come to pass is because fear. Mm. False evidence appearing real. Mm. Amen. So we must love have the passion and have the enthusiasm to continue what God has called us to do. Amen. Passion is what called the disciples to turn the world upside down. Mm -hmm. In Acts 17, 6, they came before the king and basically this is what they said. It says, Paul and Silas caused trouble all over the world, they shouted. Yeah. <laughs> and now they're disturbing our city. Uh -huh. <laughs> Paul and Silas are in town. Mm. What are you going to do about it, king? These guys, everywhere they've been, they turn the world upside down. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need mm. to turn our cities upside down. Yes. Marcos, Dalhais, yes. yes. the, yes. the Presidios, <laughs> all these places, you know, we need yeah. to turn them upside down. Yeah. God, Amen. You know, greater is he that's in us. You know, our God is bigger than all these things. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, they were wanting the king to do something about it. And, uh, you remember Paul and Silas? They finally got him. They arrested him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they beat him up good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they still feared. So they said, you know what? Put him way deep down in, in, <laughs> in, in dungeon somewhere. Yeah. You know, way down. You know. We don't want him to get loose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, they were so beat. Instead of crying and complaining mm -hmm. about why God let him down, mm -hmm. at the midnight hour, they started singing and praising God. <laughs> And God heard, yes. <laughs> you know, Thank reason, you reason God don't hear some of our prayers is because we never pray. Because <laughs> <laughs> we need to pray. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. They were praising and God heard. Yes, he And did. it says there was a great earthquake. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just shook the foundations of the yes. whole place. He says every cell was open. Every chain fell off mm -hmm. the prisoners. God heard. God mm -hmm. hears you. Yes. Amen. It's just like the type of the world. 
hold you in bondage mm -hmm. and keep you trying to keep you down mm -hmm. but you know who you are yes and you know when david had problems he worshiped god he wrote songs and he sang them to god mm -hmm. and god gave him the strength mm -hmm. amen to go against the bear to go against the lion to go yes. against the goliath uh -huh. <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen and he gives you what you need to go against the giants of this world. That's right. Whatever's coming against Amen. you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Well, they couldn't keep them in, 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 the, in, the, in prison. No. But you know, the jailer, the type of the world, the type of sinner, where he was going to kill himself. Mm -hmm. And he says, no, don't kill yourself. Mm -hmm. He said, we're all here. He got saved. His family got saved. Yes. Amen. It's for us. Yes. To bring salvation to the world. Yes. Salvation is a free gift. They need yes, it. Is. And then all they need to yeah. do is receive it. Amen. Amen. All they need to do is Praise receive God. it. We need to disturb our cities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, wherever you happen to be living. Oh, yes. Amen. Right. Mm. Love and passion cause Peter and John to deny the religious leaders of their days. Mm. And they, they told them not to preach about Jesus, but mm. guess what? They still did it. Yeah, they did. Love and compassion mm. caused them to ignore their threats. Mm. <laughs> they didn't care about offending somebody. Well, we don't want to be politically correct. Mm -hmm. We don't. We don't want to offend somebody. We're not talking. We're, we're not going to talk about sin mm -hmm. in church. <laughs> we're not going to talk about <laughs> those things oh, that might offend you. Oh my goodness! Because we don't want you to stop mm -hmm. coming. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The word of God cleans you. Mm -hmm. The word of God convicts you. Yes. And if it convicts you, we got to do something about it. Yes. I say, Lord. Ask forgiveness. He'll forgive you. And it's time to press on. You know, you can't be still. You got to press on. You got to do something. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Passion would not allow him to be silent. When you're passionate, you stay hungry. You stay thirsty. You stay full. When you're hungry and thirsty, it's going to overflow. When you overflow, the word's got to come out. Mm -hmm. And when his word comes out, you're not silent anymore. Mm -mm. You're saying, mm -hmm. say, well, I never thought you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, God saw it in you. I just have to walk it out. We got to put some faith on these feet and yes. walk out and start to step in. <laughs> like Peter Lord. stepping out of the boat. Yeah. Listen to this. Passion would not allow David to cower down. When mm -hmm. David brought lunch to his brothers mm -hmm. and he heard this giant uh, let me see. I'll pick it up here. He, David said, "Who is this pagan Philistine giant that is allowing us uh, allow, allowed to do this? Mm -hmm. Don't back down from your giants or your cares." He said, "Why are you letting this giant do these things? Mm -hmm. He's a little boy." He said, "Why are you letting this giant uh -huh. say these things about your God?" Mm -hmm. Paul, I mean, the, the King King Saul and his whole army, none of them were even thinking about God. <laughs> they were thinking about how afraid they were. Yeah. <laughs> and none of them would accept oh, the challenge gosh. from the giant. That's right. Except this young boy. Mm -hmm. And this young boy says, you know, the same God that brought me and delivered me from the, the lion and the bear is going to deliver me from this guy. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the world, family, friends, co-workers <laughs> disqualify you, but God has already called you, qualified you, picked you, approved you. Yeah. So you don't need the world's approval. That's A lot right. of us are still waiting for the world to approve us. Mm. We're waiting for our friends to say, you know, you're approved. No. Mm -mm. You know what? If they don't approve you, and God has, get to step in with God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Get to step in with God. Stir yourself up and press yes. on. Press on with God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The same God. Listen. This is what uh, David said to Saul. He says, you know, the lion, the bear came to me. God saw me. Mm Lord gave him the strength. Lord gave him the know-how mm -hmm. to overcome these things coming against you. Mm -hmm. God has seen me 
through these problems. God has seen me through these setbacks. Whatever those things are coming against you, whatever the setbacks are, whatever it is holding you down, mm. God has seen them. And God wants to bring you through those things. Yes. Amen. So, whatever it is, those things holding you, mm. don't let them hold you anymore. That's right. It could be, well, it could be different for all of us, but it could be family, it could be friends. It just could be fear, you know, but still you gotta get it out and just say, no more, no mas, you know? It's, it's time, it's time to let God and let go, you know? Yes. <laughs> Goliath on yeah. top of the world, and the world trying to destroy, go, and this is, this is what I saw to uh, David, go and may the Lord be with you. He says, okay, but you ain't nothing but a little boy, but he says, go and God be with you. So as we step out into the world, I know, Lord, I know you're with me. You never leave me, you don't forsake me. So as I go out, I know mm -hmm. that he's with me. Mm -hmm. He says, go, may the Lord be with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and several places, it says, David ran towards the giant. Mm -hmm. He was so bold. He was not a coward. He was so bold, he ran. I said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine mm -hmm. defiling the armies of God? Mm -hmm. He ran, he grabbed some stones, and he ran to him. <laughs> and while the giant is laughing, because they send a boy, he says, I want to have you. No, he says, I want to have you, and I'm going to cut your head off. Mm -hmm. While he's laughing, he, he, he loads his leg shot and shoot it at him, you know, hit him right in the forehead, knocks him, knocks him down, dead, and goes and cuts his head off. Now the Philistine army, what they do, they see their champion go down, so the giant is dead, so they run. And then all of a sudden, the Israeli armies are brave. <laughs> so the Philistine army is running, so we're going to run after them. <laughs> With God on our side, we win every time. Just yes. know that. We don't want to be by the wayside. We don't want to be on the wrong side. We want to be on God's side. We must yeah. see. They listen to this. This is what I was sharing a few minutes ago. But, uh, nobody cares how much you know until they see how much you care. Yeah. yeah. So remember, love, accept, forgive. Mm -hmm. That's what he wants us to do. We must see the love. They must see the love, mm -hmm. the passion, and the compassion of God in you Amen. and on you. And flowing from you, mm -hmm. it's got to flow from you. It's got they got they have to see it. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Huh, in closing, everybody say, Amen. 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 Praise <laughs> God. God is calling you today to love Him, to serve Him. To be a passionate follower of Him and to be in unity in the body of Christ. We must come together in unity as brothers and sisters in Christ and serve Him. Okay? Um, and we come together, assemble ourselves together to encourage one another, knowing that, hey, you can make it, you can do it. Yeah. You're a child of God. Yeah. All of us can do this. We're all called to do this together. Mm -hmm. But we can do it. Amen. Amen. So praise God. The love of God, the, the love of God, the, the, the passion of God, and the compassion of God is the greatest need and missing in the church today. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need this. The people must see this for us. Yes. To show it. They gotta see it in us. Amen. So Amen. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Say this with me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I surrender you. I, surrender I give you my all. I, give you my I decide all. today. I decide today. And every day, and every day to follow you. To follow you. you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Remember what you said, amen. You're his. And through him we can do all things. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord.